This is acetyl salicylic acid. You know it better as aspirin, or at least it is a molecular model of that molecule. Uh, sometimes we will draw it on paper, and it will look like that. But how do we know? How do we know that aspirin is made of a ring of carbon atoms, oxygens, hydrogens, etc., in this particular pattern? Because we have never seen such a molecule. It is way, way too small to be seen. <laughs> How small? Well, molecules are tiny, tiny, tiny. This glass of water has more molecules in it than there are such glasses of water in all of the world's rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans. So how do we know what aspirin looks like? It is all through inference. It's all by doing chemical reactions. We make macroscopic observations and infer what molecules must look like to allow those reactions to manifest the way that we observe them. An analogy would be seeing some smoke and inferring that there must be a fire without ever having seen a fire. So molecules are much too small to be seen, even with the most powerful optical microscopes. However, with a fascinating novel technique known as non-contact atomic force microscopy, we can actually image molecules, in a sense, see them. Now, this technique is way too complicated to explain the theory of. In fact, it is even too complicated for me to really understand, except for the basic principle. The basic principle is that when you have two surfaces that approach each other, there's a force of attraction between them. And that force of attraction varies with the distance between the surfaces. In this non-contact atomic force microscopy, you have a very, very fine needle that is suspended above a surface. And that surface, of course, is composed of, of molecules. And as that needle comes closer to the surface, it will slightly move up and down depending on the specific structure of that surface. And that surface, of course, uh, the, the structure of it depends on the atoms of which it is, is composed. So anyway, in this particular way, it can trace out an image of a molecule. It is totally fascinating. Take a look. What you are seeing here is an actual molecule. And compare it to the structural diagram that we would normally draw on the board or on paper. And that structural diagram was arrived at totally by inference. Isn't it amazing what chemists have been able to do over the years? Totally astounding. Now you see why I find chemistry so amazing. And that for today is our cup of joe. The number of molecules in here is just astounding.